Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. And I'm Todd Anderson. And you're watching the Versus Series by StarCityGames.com. All right, so Todd and I are back for the fourth round of our Hardened Skills Affinity Gauntlet. Yeah, it's not doing as good as I thought so far. It's not bad yet. It's it's small sample sizes. That's true. That's true. But we are playing we went all three to game games. Threes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we are. Well, we, we always go to game threes in this. That's this true. Structure. Yeah. So, but uh, I mean, uh, I think the fact that it beat humans was promising. Mm -hmm. I think humans is one of the better decks in the format. Uh, the matchup against uh, Blue White was very close. Mm -hmm. uh, the the all in shove in, in game three I thought was really cool. If you haven't seen that, you should go watch that. Uh, and then against uh, KCI, it's literally just gold fishing. Neither yeah. deck has a ton of interaction, uh, but you know, engine explosives bailed me out pretty yes, hard. Yes, that was a that was an insane turn. Yeah. I thought I was just golden. Yeah, and then uh, the, you know there's some really cool interaction between engine explosives and damping sphere mm -hmm. and that helped me out a little bit. But anywho. Uh, so today we are moving into what I like to call uh, the the random abyss. That's what I call. I mean the next today we're playing Trom, which is the one of those high variance random decks in the format, and that is saying something. When the fifth video, we're literally rolling dice to see what we discard <laughs> at random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today uh, in round four, we're going to be playing against Tron, and then uh, tomorrow we are going to be playing Hollow One, so if you're interested in either of those two matchups, be sure to tune in. Uh, right now, though, that, I mean, you know, Tron is Tron. Yeah, let's see what happens. I, I think that you're pretty heavily favored, at least in game one. Yeah. I don't have a ton of interaction. I don't think a turn three Karn is very good. No, it's the stones. And I don't think Worm Clone Engine is very good either. No. Because you could sacrifice whatever oh, I yeah. block. Or attack with. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the match. Let's let, let's play what some match. Let's Ugin? have some fun. Yeah, Ugin, your colorless <laughs> card? Yeah, yeah, that seems like a... Whew. Ooh, eight? Yeah. Man, am I going to ever get to go first? Well, my hand's fine. Nothing great, but I think I have to keep it. My hand is so bad in this matchup, but I 100% have to keep it <laughs> because it's game one. Uh, if I get super lucky, I will win very easily. What color... Is scales green? Mm. It is not colorless. All right, well, let's just switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's always sad when the five from Rage of Starings is better than your five in hand. It's close. All right, well, I can take a land or I can take this worker. Work, 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 work. Come to see you. Work, work, worker work, doesn't work, seem work. that bad, doesn't seem that good either. That's true. Maybe <laughs> maybe this welding jar is a bit stronger. I don't know. It does cause zero, so if you have a mox... I do, it but I can't, it, it's not going to be important. Okay. I mean, most of my things exile, but I mean, one of my main ways to win this matchup, I think, is... Uh, stone you also curse. don't know the matchup, technically. Oh, that's true, yeah. So I think welding jar is a safer pick, because if I'm playing something like Jeskai or, or Jun or you know something yeah, with I'm, Bolt or Fatal I'm Push... Do that. And worker's kind of me. Your turn. All right. Okay. Well, we're getting we're getting a little lucky already. Your turn. Let's do this thing. Go. All right. Well, I believe. Oh, that was that was a that was a bad top deck. <laughs> and I'm just going to do it right away. Yep. All right. So we got power plant tower. Let's go get mine. Even if I draw Karn here, I don't even know what I target. Probably Ballista, just because it, it has can to be Ballista. stone me to death next turn. All right. So. What happens if I cast Warm Cool Engine? I don't die to the Ballista 100%. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I will play Star Engine. Or, sorry, Sphere Engine. Just hope I don't die. I think you might be dead. That is disappointing, to say the least. All right. Let me. So this happens. Three. Well, you three. don't have Hardened Skills. That's good news. I, I don't have Hardened Skills. I don't have. What hardened. do you have? 
So that goes to seven. Do you just have something that in your deck that eight. I just have no idea what it is? Yes. I'm going to sack this over here. So I have 11 counters, right? Oh, no. Apostle's Blessing. <laughs> oh, protection from artifact. Attack you. You're at nine. You're at eight. You're at seven. You're at six. You're at five. You're at four. You're at three. You're at two. You're at one. And dead. Good game. That was well played. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're here for sideboarding, and on the Tron side of things, uh, these are all cards I'm considering boarding in. I think the easy cuts, uh, for sure, are Relic of Progenitus. There's not a lot of graveyard interaction, uh, or Relic doesn't stop a lot of his graveyard-related things, like things like Hangerback Dying, uh, modular creatures dying. Uh, Ugin obviously doesn't really affect colorless things, so it'd be an eight mana planeswalker that just ticks up to shoot things for three. That's not that great. Uh, we're just gonna bring in some nature's claims to not only clear off uh, things like Dampy Matrix, um, and, but it also can hit any of the spells in his deck that you know hit the battlefield. Um, as far as the spot removal is concerned, the only thing I really want to kill with spot removal is Steel Overseer and maybe some of the lands. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's possible that I do want some more of these, but I don't really know what to cut. Like, I think Warm Coal Engine is fine. Like, it, I think it, you just max out on Interaction and you can take out, like... Uh, I like guess I have new... another one of these. Oh, yeah, and, like, in, like I think you can take a Karn or two out. I mean, I, I think I'd rather cut Warm Coal than Karn. How are you going to win? I have two Lumogs and a Worldbreaker. Okay. I don't yeah. know. That seems fine. Yeah, it's fine-ish. I think Warm Coal... Yeah, Worm Coil, I can see cutting a Warm Coal. They don't seem that good. Yeah, I mean, I have two. I really like the... Let me make sure I don't have three. You probably have three. They all have three. I like the Dismembers more than the Gut Shots, at least on the play, maybe on the draw, Gut Shots better. But Gut Shot just... If I have a Hardened Scales, it just doesn't kill anything. If I just draw one Hardened Scales, Gut oh, Shot still, does nothing. Well, it can still hit your man land, or your creature lands. Like, those are the, like problematic later in the game, especially if you go like modular crazy and try to ravager them up. But it doesn't always kill it, right? Yeah. I mean, it kills Steel Overseer, and if, you know that yeah. to me that's enough. So yeah. maybe uh, you also. I know you more. also like Gutshot, so let's do. No, we we know you want. We know you. We know you want the Gutshots. We want it. <laughs> All right, on my side, I'm going to be taking out again some of the slower cards in the matchup, and bringing in Damping Sphere and a couple artifact removal. I don't need to go max out in this matchup because. Why were you starting out Apostles Blessing? It literally just killed me. <laughs> All right, we're here for game two, and I have a pretty sweet opener. We're definitely going to keep this one. Yeah, I mean, my hand's slow, but I, I don't think you can mulligan hands like this, so. All right, boink. Boink, boink, boink. Go. That's a good one. All right, let's make a green. Let's paint a stirring. All righty. You know what? I I swear to God, I looked through the deck three times looking for the third warm coal engine. I didn't find it, and I just found it. <laughs> and this should hundred percent be a gut shot, but whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll take Karn. Um, is that? Yeah, I guess that's better than Warbreaker. Maybe. Hmm. Warbreaker can block too, though. All right, we'll take Karn. All right. When in doubt, I'm gonna play land, and then I'm is gonna it play another star? Is it a good land? It's okay. Rough. All right, let's play a Ballista. I think Ballista's the strongest one since I might get Karned. Your turn. Boing. Yeah. All right, so we're definitely playing Karn. The question is... Seems like a smart play. Do I want to just minus the Ballista and then trade Karn with the Nexus attack and soak up his whole turn? Can I die? Yes, one hundred percent. You can die I mean, from this spot. That's the six million dollar question. Will I die if I tick up? I'm ticking down on the stupid. See, I I was doing this. That's why I should have got Warbreaker. You know what? No, because then you might not have played the Ballista. I, I'm not gonna take that back. I don't really have much else to do. I'm gonna tick up. All right. Well, it feels like Hope I don't die. This is the worst card. Yeah, that seems like the slowest card. All right, your turn. Oh, that might do it. Oh, come on! <laughs> I 
need at least one or two zeros. That's not going to do it. Thank jeez. You're at 20? I'm at 20. That's why it's not going to do it. Yeah. I didn't take no damages. Do your worst. Can you just kill Karn? Is that worth it? Well, if I could... Oh, well, I can kill Karn. Well, if you can... Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, I mean... It, it's probably going to be worth it, but I'm just... I'm evaluating. I... Mm -hmm. No, take I do it. This is these the turns matter so much in this matchup. And there aren't very many of them. I mean, I'm pretty oh, sure I whatever. died on turn four last game on the draw. So it comes in with two, now it goes up. No, that's enough. No, it's nine. I can oh, get it to nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason I was thinking it was a plus no, two. You're at you're at eleven, go. Cards in hand? Three. I'm gonna hit your land. Rough. Then I'm going to just post on the rest of your stuff, and I'm going to go to two, and I'll draw a card. Man, that's rough. All right, you're at two. Go. <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't gut shot it. I can carn it, though. <laughs> no! All right. Go. Uh, tick up. Go. That sucks. Maybe I was too aggressive. I don't think I was, though. I don't think you were. I mean, I literally blew up my own car and, and Go. had... Very little other than that. Put a counter on Karn. Yep. It's got a fake counter on it. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm not going to reset the game. Prob probably. Yeah, I don't think you would. All right. I will minus on your Arcbound Worker. I will sew and scrying for a Sanctum and play it. Let's see. Go. Actually, I... I'm going to play another stone. I can just put a counter on one of them. Sure, yeah. Go. All right. Counter on this one. Mm -hmm. Let's use these two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Makes way more sense. Um, to go up. Go. Go. All right. I will. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one. You're at one. Now I'm just dead. I'm locked out because you're. That's gonna keep. You were gonna take a land, right? I was gonna go land. Yeah, I was gonna hit your ink moth, and then I was gonna just okay. try to take down. I might be able to. All right, so you're at one yep. in your turn. All right, uh, ink moth, just so I can keep Karn at four. Uh, Playing pop two maps. Jeez. Go. Play the ghost quarter, I guess. Put a counter on corn. Yeah. Lose in my hand. And tap. Draw. Minus on your land. 
Uh, blue to green and then one color. Okay, now I can see them. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you hit the mug, yeah. Perfect timing. I sensed it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here for game three. Uh, and I've got one of those real affinity hands. Ooh, a lot and of zeros. Yeah, you ready? Uh, hold on. I'm going to talk about my hand. I've, I've taken a mulligan. Uh, my six is pretty good, but no real fatty bomb baddies yet. Let's take a look at the top. Uh, it's another cycler. And, but we already have two. I think it's just a natural draw is better. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Go. I'm probably just supposed to. Is it all happening? Yeah. Okay. You have, uh, yeah, you have gut shots. Yeah, I, I would have so. gut shot it like. I mean, Gutshot doesn't really do anything when it's untapped and you have a wilding jar. Go. Well, you could respond yeah. and then, yeah. All right, uh, green. Mm -hmm. well, let's just guarantee Tron next turn. Uh, power plant, tower. Do I have a mine? No. Mine. I guess at this point I'm just going to Ancient Stirrings on my turn. Shoot. I have another land. Mm. Yeah. Damn sir, would be good here just because you have so much pressure. Well, I mean, I still have a ton of pressure. Yeah. How does it come in with four? Two and then Oh, yeah, sure, it. sure. You take six. Okay, 14. Your turn. My dead next turn. Yeah, I mean, if you don't really interact enough, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm just dead next turn no matter what I do. All right, mine. Uh, let's go. Pop it, float a green. Can't think of anything this is good that saves me, so we'll just say Oblivion Ring or sorry, Oblivion Stone was too slow this game. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, turn four is just too slow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were talking about it right after the game, but it's it's just the truth of Tron right now. In in a lot of matchups, turn three Tron uh, Karn on the draw is not what it used to be. Yeah, I mean, if I had Karn that game, uh, let's see. I I think I still died. I was at fourteen. I target the. Uh, the 6-6, six, six, you tag me for 8 and minus 4 on the Ballista, and that's 12? No, 4, 8. I had a, another Ballista in hand. Sure. I, I'm pretty sure yeah, I was I, dead. I had, and you I could also lethal. just spend 4 mana if you had another mana source and put two counter or one counter on it, mm -hmm. which would have been two counters. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> that deck is so fast when it has, like, it's, it's like, you know, good draws. Like, Mox Opal, obviously, just one of yeah. the most degenerate cards in Modern. But at the same time, like hardened scales just has looked so impressive at every turn. Mm -hmm. And even when you don't draw hardened scales, even like arcbound workers and stuff haven't looked that bad. No, you know when you have stuff uh, like the the uh, modular or the mo module, module animation module, yeah, animation module, uh, throne of Gath, like all these cards just seem so like work so well together. Mm -hmm. And you have to have some really ridiculous like stifling stuff like injure explosives. Psy Master Thopterus, uh, like, I like Pyroclasm wouldn't be good enough. No, you know, no, the deck is great. Like, I, I, I do not know yet, and I don't even know if this session will tell us if it's got it. But like I said, I, I played it because in the Mox playoff, where the best players tried to qualify for the Mox championships, three of the top eight played this deck. Yeah, it, that means three people in this small exclusive tournament, uh, minimum. We're thought like, the, this is the deck the... that I should play. Yeah, and they and, and they top it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I, I mean, I'm just starting to get into this deck, but I mean, I've got potentially Baltimore for the open because the tour is stopping yeah. in Baltimore for a Detroit modern for open. Detroit for team modern. Detroit for team modern. I, I might be looking into this thing. This is fun so far. Yeah, I mean, even the games where you lose, it's always like really close. Yes. You know, I'm always at like you know hovering between one and five life. You can peel. Uh, like a walking ballista or arc bound ravager, sometimes at like any point. Uh, 
you know, I have to do some really busted stuff uh, or just have a massive amount of like sweeper effects to to yep. really beat your deck. And I think that that's the, just the sign of a good deck. Mm -hmm. You're all, even when I have the answers, you're just putting me under such a pressure test that if I ever stumble, I just die. Yeah, no, I, I love the deck, but we've got one more match left. We've got yep. hollowed one to push it through. Yep. Uh, this is a, there hasn't been a, a lot of like re actual interaction, like uh, ancient grudges and, yeah. and lightning bolts. So we're going to get to do that for the last one and we'll see how it goes right now. The deck is two, two and is six, six in games played. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the games that I won, I I got very lucky to win. Yeah. So I'm I'm very much looking forward to to see how this shapes up against Hollow One for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow with the conclusion of our Affinity Hardened Skills Gauntlet. I'll get the name sooner. Yeah, it, you know. It's good enough.